My man is up for an Oscar for the holdovers. Look at you. Good to see you, Paul. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. I had to show you this. First of all, you're not going to believe me. You're going to think I made this up. Do you see this picture yeah. of us on the set of Private Parts yeah. doing uh, the famous scene where we go WNBC? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have this picture right outside my studio. So when I walk in the morning, that's the last thing I look at like as I walk <laughs> into the studio, believe it or not. Great. At the time, I didn't realize how what an opportunity this was to work with an actor of your caliber. Well, it was an opportunity for me. That's why. I mean, I think I, I'd never done anything like this on film either. Like, I hadn't done this much on film. So I was nervous, too. And I didn't want yeah. to screw it up. And you were effortless. So it actually made it easy for me. Because all of you guys were. It, it was easy for me. I didn't know what I was doing on film really either. You and know? I didn't and, realize I didn't realize you were 30 years old at yeah. that point. And this was your first sort of major motion oh, picture. Yeah. I mean, you had to be, like, like, that had to be a really important moment for you because at 30 years old and most actors have done some sort of film where, I mean, you had done little parts. Little and things, things and, yeah. Yeah, little things. I mean, so it must have been a huge break it for was. you to be. Yeah, yeah but I didn't exci- realize any of this. But the whole thing was exciting. I mean, getting to do it with you, getting to do anything like this at all, and the part was great. I've talked to Mary McCormick, <clears throat> who played my wife in the yeah. movie, and she was like full of angst about doing the movie because of my reputation and thinking, you know, whether or not she should do it. Yeah. And Stanley Tucci, who she had worked with, said to her, she said, I don't know if this will hurt my film career. And he looked at her and went, what film career? <laughs> you don't have a film totally. career. Go do the movie. I, absolutely. I had the same thing. Some of my agents were like, really, you want to do this? I was like, yes, I want to do it. <laughs> First of all, it's a really good script. And I was like, yeah. who the hell am I? Who the hell cares? I mean, <laughs> it's like, honestly, like, who cares? And I'm going to have fun doing it, you know? Isn't it amazing? Like, because like, I, I, I had never asked you that before. Like, your agents, some of them were like, yeah, some hey, you maybe you shouldn't. Right. You yes. shouldn't be with Howard some, Stern some the movie. Of them, some of them <laughs> were concerned, but the main guy that I worked with wasn't at all. He thought it was great. When my agent saw your work, this is when you were, you know, 30 years old and no one knew you were. My agent turned to me and said, you're going to be a huge star. He says, out of everybody in that old fucking crew, it's going to be mm-hmm. Paul Giamatti. So nice. he knew right away, yeah. which was unbelievable. That's nice. He said it about Mary McCormick too, but, but he, he was very focused on you. Wanted to represent you the whole thing. You know? uh, yeah, you no, were, I remember were, that. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you told he, me he that at the time. He, yeah. Yeah, he thought you were great. Because Paul nailed, this guy was a real life guy, and Paul nailed this guy. It was weird. So when I did the scenes, I felt like I was working with the real pig virus. Right. Betty Thomas was great. She let me just do whatever I wanted to do, which was amazing. But I went in five times or something for her. But I got to know like what she was like. She got to know what I was like. And then, you know, it, it takes I, care of a lot of problems before you get to the yeah. set. You know? No, that's no bullshit. I remember because they would come to me and say, uh, you know, Betty would come to me and say, we, we found this guy to play, um, you know, pig virus. But we called him pig vomit in the movie. And I, I, I said, really? I said, let me look at this. And I looked and I was like, whoa, this is great. I remember watching it and I go, well, what, what's the problem? Let's, what, what, well, I got to be sure. I got to be sure. She kept saying, you know, I got to yeah, be sure. But yeah, I was yeah, like, she was... I'm sure I like this. <laughs> awesome. But uh, I remember the other guy was uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman yeah, who was up right. for that role. That's right. He, he auditioned. Been, he would have been great. He would have been amazing. He would have been amazing. Why did they? Why did you call him pig vomit and not pig virus? Somebody just asked me this the other day, and I didn't. I never knew. Because when I wrote my book, they wanted me to change all the names of people, like first girlfriends uh, okay. or this or that or the other thing, so that people, I guess, wouldn't <laughs> sue you or something. <laughs> he could. And so, <laughs> so I was like, you really? I guess I got to change the name to pig vomit <laughs> from pig virus. I wanted him to be pig. Vi- I mean, it yeah. doesn't make any sense now. It's That's so really stupid. funny. But could he have done that? Yeah. Very funny. Like it was trademarked or something. Pig virus. Yeah, like like like, gotta, like, like yeah. I don't even know. It was just so <laughs> weird, and it, and it bothered me that you were pig vomit, not pig. It was pig virus. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was a kid at my summer camp we called pig virus, and I thought that was the greatest <laughs> thing. And when I was on the radio <laughs> one day, I was like sitting there, and I'm on NBC, I'm on this big radio, and I go, "Where's my boss, pig virus?" <laughs> you know? Yeah. Paul, it's uh, it's so good seeing you. Nice. Seeing I have you. such wonderful feelings about you because I wish I could go back in time and savor. Yeah. Me too. Even you and I being on set together. Yeah, me too. And and, and take it all in. Me I too. think that all, it's all a of regret of mine. But that one for sure. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I did I did feel a lot. I, I remember that every second of making that movie in a way. And it's like more so than other things, I think I did savor that one. 
because it was the whole thing was great yeah you got to win that fucking oscar man <laughs> i'd be so proud of you because you know in a way i feel like sort of in your career or responsible in some I think small you way are. i uh, i say that I, i'm not kidding that i say i credit you totally have you already fantasized what your speech is going to be if you I've, get yeah called? i mean i keep thinking i have to have something to say but i have no idea what i would do oh i have no idea what yet. i would say no it's going to be great if you uh it'd be nice yeah well, I'll so you, I, I'll thank you that I'll do that for sure. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, absolutely. Oh fuck! You absolutely. mean at the Academy Awards? Sure. You're saying you're going to thank me? If I win that thing, I would thank you. Yes. Son of a bitch! 